Hey everyone, today I want to expand a little bit on prompting in Midjourney V5, specifically on posing and image references. If you've ever tried to get specific images out of Midjourney, you know that it can be a little hit or miss. So through this, I'm hoping to give you some tips on how to control your output to get the image that you are looking to get. So this video is actually inspired by a comment that was left on my last video by Eric Schlitzbeier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. Sorry if not, Eric. Eric wrote, what bothers me about Midjourney is that many instructions are simply ignored. It ignores sustainably that I want to have a full body picture and not only a portrait from the hip. The addition of in the style of is also completely ignored. While even Kurosawa and Tarantino should differ, at the least, I believe we meant, uh, Frank Miller should look completely different. The result is almost identical for all in the style of additions. Eric follows that up with an example prompt. A gloomy, mystical, and already somewhat threatening forest. A 10-year-old Viking girl is standing in a clearing where fog is waft wa wafting, wafting, sorry. <laughs> wafting, wafting. We see her whole body from head to toe. She has torn dirty clothes and wears no shoes. She threatens with a sword in her hand and screams a loud war cry. She looks menacing. Her long blonde hair is braided in the style of, and then one of like Tarantino, Kurosawa, or Miller. And while I can't promise a 100% solution to the exact image that he was looking for, I think what I find along the way is gonna be pretty interesting to you guys. So a lot has been made about the new prompting in Midjourney V5, and I think that might be a little overblown. The idea is supposedly that it's supposed to be a lot more linguistic and you should be speaking naturally to Midjourney. I don't know if it's quite there yet. Um, I still think it's a little more programmy and a little less literary. But Eric's prompt is great and instantly conjures up an image in my mind. So let's dive in and see how close we can get to that. So this was my initial output off of Eric's prompt. As many of you know, without the seed number, it's going to come out differently each time. This is what I generated. These are very cool images, but you know we see what the problem here is. The prompt did call out for a full body shot. We are getting waist up shots. I think that usually happens with mid journey anytime that you're in a 16-9 aspect ratio is that it sort of tends to get very cinematic with its compositions. And generally you don't see a lot of like full body shots. That's just kind of baked into the natural language of cinema. Go watch any movie. You're going to tend to find waist up or close up shots far more often than you're going to find, you know, full body shots. And the other place that this image fails is that at the end of it, I wrote in style by Frank Miller. Frank Miller, if you're not aware, was the comic book illustrator who was responsible for uh, Sin City 300, um, the Dark Knight Returns, a legendary comic book illustrator and writer. Miller has a very strong visual style and this is definitely not it. In order to rectify that, I started moving some stuff around. The logic of prompting in Midjourney is that it's gonna pay attention more to whatever you have towards the front of the prompt. So by shuffling some stuff around in the prompt um, and applying a prompt formula that I use, I covered it in my cinematic Midjourney um, video. You can see that, you know, linked below. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna go over what the formula is here in a second. Um, we end up with this image, which is closer to what we're sort of looking for, right? It's still not quite in that Frank Miller style, but we're sort of dialing in at this point. So the formula is a slash imagine, cinematic still, film by, scene, subject, action, set, um, a link, our shot, and then dash, dash. But we can use the underlying logic to swap it out to get the results that we're looking for. For example, in cinematic still, I swap that out to illustration. Um, film by became style by Frank Miller. The scene, subject, action, and set all remained in Eric's initial prompt. The link section, which I go into a lot more detail in the cinematic video, um, doesn't really apply here, so I just ignored that. And then for shot, I changed it over to ultra long shot, full body, um, and then an aspect ratio of 16.9, and these were our results, which I think are a lot closer to what we're looking for, particularly that first one. Um, but still lacks A, that style of Frank Miller, and uh, every one of them has shoes. That's one of those things that I don't think that you're ever really gonna get over. Sometimes Mid Journey is just going to be insistently ignoring one prompt. Like, I, I think it's based on what Mid Journey is trained on, and I guess there aren't that many images of shoeless Vikings. So no matter what you do, you're just gonna end up with shoes. A few more, these look really cool. For some reason, it just gave me a straight photographic one there, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but yeah, it looks really solid. Again, not Frank Miller-ish. It actually kind of looks a little bit like maybe an artist named Becky Cloonan who did Lumberjanes, a very good comic as well. Um, so let's see if we can dial in that frankness a little bit more. Okay, same prompt, but after Frank Miller adding in Sin City gets us this, which is, you know, super Sin City. Uh, it almost looks like the 
overall style of Sin City just came and barreled everything over. But uh, yeah, it's not what we're looking for here. My next attempt was to remove Sin City from the prompt and instead put a weight to Frank Miller's name. Uh, you can do that by doing colon colon one, which I did for here. I think you can go up to five. Uh, and that just places more emphasis on that particular word in the prompt. Uh, and we ended up with these images, which I think is definitely more in Frank's style. Uh, particularly, I do like that first one. It's not still not quite what we're looking for, but it definitely now is starting to dial into the look. So I did want to try out image prompting a little with this. So I grabbed a random photo of a Viking warrior, uploaded it to mid journey, and then used that URL as an image prompt. Uh, I believe most of you know how to, to do that. Um, and then added that into the front of the prompt to end up with these images, which again are cool, but still not exactly what we're looking for. The other problem with image prompts is that whatever aspect ratio your reference image is in, you then become locked into that aspect ratio. But there is a trick around that. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a second. So I'm a big fan of using any tool that's available to you and mixing, matching them all together to, you know, come up with results. So I hopped over to Leonardo and uploaded our reference image and ended up getting this out of it, which I thought was super, super cool. Now it's a little bit scurry on the um, aspect ratio, but she's a little squished because of the resolution. And I actually ended up uncovering a little glitch in Leonardo where apparently if you upload a reference image that is less than 512 pixels, um, you end up getting weird results like this. Um, just super bizarre. And then I ended up with another super cool image based off of their image prompt. I think they, they call it prompt magic. Um, you can check it out in the video that I did on Leonardo just recently. It's yeah, it's this is actually a super cool image. Not what we're looking for, but you know, still super cool. So taking that first image, bringing it back into mid journey uh, and then running our prompt yielded us this, which again is pretty cool. It's still not exactly what we're looking for. And that's when I started to think that maybe the problem might be in the Frank Millerness of the prompt. I removed Frank from the prompt and we ended up with this, which is starting to look a little bit cooler in my opinion. I suspect it has something to do with how Mid Journey is trained and how it uh, stylizes things. For example, Mid Journey knows samurais very well and Mid Journey knows cyberpunks very well. So if you tell Mid Journey, give me a cyberpunk samurai, it knows exactly what to do. But problems start to occur when you ask for more out there things like a cyberpunk samurai in the style of David Lynch. David Lynch has never made a cyberpunk movie or a samurai movie. So Mid Journey doesn't really know what to do with that. So it just kind of ends up ignoring it. Frank Miller has never done a Viking comic. I think Mid Journey was having a problem applying Frank style to uh, a Viking comic book. So on a lark, I decided to try out Mike Mingola. Uh, Mike Mingola is the comic book artist who did Hellboy uh, and ended up with these results, which look actually pretty awesome. We still do have the boots on. Mid Journey is just steadfastly refusing to have barefoot Vikings. But here's something interesting. And going back to the idea that style has to have some link to, you know, the style that you're trying to output. Um, so I rolled back to the idea of putting Akira Kurosawa into this, you know, Viking girl in the woods and ended up with these images, which is not the Viking girl. I mean, obviously Akira Kurosawa never did a Viking film, um, but look, we got bare feet. <laughs> So, so I did keep trying with that Kurosawa prompt just because it was kind of a fun idea. I ended up with these images, which again, are not what we're looking for because now we're in that sort of like close up range again, but they're super cool. Um, and now I really wish that Akira Kurosawa had made like, you know, a lost feudal Japanese princess in Norway, Viking samurai extravaganza. I would have loved to have seen that movie. So just as further experimentation, I took that second image out of Leonardo and brought it back over to Mid Journey, changing out the prompt this time to Ridley Scott. I don't know if Ridley Scott has done a Viking movie. He's definitely done like period piece stuff before, but I think his name as a keyword definitely ends up working better than, you know, Akira Kurosawa. And Ridley Scott gives us these images, which is actually super cool and really kind of weird if you think about it, because we took an actual photo turned it into an illustration and then turned that illustration into a cinematic still inspired by Ridley Scott. The future's weird, man. Oh, and hey, real quick, uh, if you're enjoying the video, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I'm very much trying to grow the channel. So if you take a second to do that, it would be highly appreciated. All right, moving on. Okay, so the one big thing I wanted to call out is that Eric's prompt calls out for our Viking girl to be screaming a loud war cry. And that's something that's always a little bit tough to get Mid Journey to do, um, emoting or acting of any kind. Um, so one trick that you can do is you just do a really bad photo bash. For example, um, I went into Photoshop and I just have this as a stock image 
and then I pasted it over our Mike Mangola output. Um, I mean, it's a pretty bad job. It's really awful. Using that as an image reference in the same prompt ended up with this, which is a lot closer to, I think this one is actually kind of the one that I like the most. Um, but we actually have, you know, some real character emoting um, going on in the scene. So that's something you can try out if you are looking for characters with specific emotions. Uh, we do still have the problem that our images are in a 2-3 aspect ratio. Um, I think it's 2-3, 2-3-ish. Um, and we want a 16-9 image. Uh, Midjourney is not good at redoing aspect ratios. You usually end up with images that look like this. It'll just kind of like stretch things. Um, so again, we are headed back over to Leonardo. Again, if you haven't signed up for Leonardo, you definitely should. Um, they just introduced a paid plan. There's still a pretty generous free plan happening right now, and they're starting to whitelist users a lot more quickly. So in Leonardo, we have the canvas feature over here. Um, we can simply take our image and drag it in. And using this box, um, I can put it like say here-ish or so. And then using some parts of our image prompt, namely uh, Mike Mingola and the gloomy mystical threatening forest, um, we can then start painting out sections of our image to expand it into a 16.9 format or whatever format we want to do. It's actually, out painting is really cool if you haven't messed with it much. Um, you have four options in terms of like what it thinks it wants to continue as. Like I like that, so I just hit accept. And then I can move the box over this way and just continue on with the same prompt. And then you kind of keep going and just sort of fill out into a 16.9 image. If you have any tips or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and if you want to see that video on cinematic prompting in Midjourney, that's coming up next. My name's Tim. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.